and uh, a little blue signage, but uh, could you name me? Uh, that right there was probably my most, my most popular book as far as the masses. Yeah. 900 AMW URD, your information station committed to solutions. We are broadcasting live from Black and Nobel, 1411 West Erie Avenue. That's broad and eerie. All are invited to come on through. I think there may be one or two of Steve's free books left. So you yes. come in, pick out the book that you're looking for. Brother Jihad for coming out from Atlanta, Georgia, you know, so I just think that the morning is special, you know, that's when, you know, you should have your head clear, because if you start your morning off right, your day will go right, so. Well, tell the story about how you chose this location. It's a great location, and it was a very astute entrepreneurial move to be here. Well, I roamed the whole city when I first started, so it makes sense to me. And so you don't get the complexity and the real sense of you know, what it is that people are ultimately struggling with and how decisions are being made and, and where the real opportunities are in their lives. And just to really see the humanity uh, in everybody. And to me, having a chance to sit down with a book, I was, I was just sitting here thinking about when I read Solomon Jones's book about Gordon Neary. Um, I can't remember the name. Pipe Dreams. Pipe Dreams, thank yes. you very much. And I remember the description that he had of Gordon Erie and his own sense when he was a, a drug addict of, of being in and out of the shadows of this location. I mean, it was just so powerful to me to have a sense of, you know, we aren't thinking and talking about this drug problem in, in the right way. We aren't understanding um, what's happening in people's lives. And it just opened up uh, a sense to me that even for someone like me who's used to you know, working in communities for a long period of time, that story was just so absolutely powerful and just redoubled my, my energy and my efforts to try to see what I could do to, to try to make a difference. So, so a story, uh, a story in music, a story in a book, um, changes how you view things, how, how you see things to me. Absolutely. We have certainly, uh, uh, Mayor Nutter, you had a chance to talk to the president um, and uh, hear what they're talking about in Washington. Um, but by what I know a lot of people don't realize is that we are ready, willing, and able right here in Philadelphia uh, for uh, the kinds of opportunities that the federal government uh, may present to us. I know we've had tough, uh, tough budget times. And uh, so we're looking for uh, resources, but, but we do have the systems in place uh, to make sure that we can continue to support um, our small business development here. Yeah, so I just think that everybody that wants to go for it, just remember that, you know, early, the earlier you get up, the better you get stuff. What are some, we see a lot of the, the urban fiction or some of the urban titles. You also have a lot of the history, culture, things like that. What And we, we haven't touched on the fact throughout, I mentioned my Christmas uh, CD. She sells a lot of music in here as well. Uh, what are the hot sellers? What are the things that most people are coming in looking for? Well, it's such variety. You know, we have a balance of everything. So everything is selling, you know, because the demographics and are from children to grandmothers. So everything is selling. We may sell Little Wayne, we may sell out uh, one day, and then Tina Marie may sell out. So we have gospel CDs, we have spirituality, I mean, everything is selling. Uh, majority the fiction books are selling. That's what's pulling a lot of the readers in. But it's the new genre. Everybody's into the, the, the street novels. And it's not just a certain age. You'd be surprised. It's a lot of people that are wondering what's going on in the streets. And the only way for them to find out is by reading the street novels. You know, they only hear what's on the news. And 
most of the times, you know, that's not the whole story. So when you read these novels, you know, they say it's fiction, but we call it like faction. You know, they just change the names up and make sure that they, you know, cover, you know, their self.